Hi, I'm Bianca Cunningham, member of Democratic Socialists of America, and I'm here with Trevor Hill, NYU student who recently had an exchange with Nancy Pelosi on CNN's town hall, where he challenged the Democratic Party's stance on capitalism. Hi, Trevor, how are you? Hi, I'm Thanks great. so much for being here. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Two days ago, I was invited to CNN's town hall with Nancy Pelosi. I was encouraged to ask a, a soft question. That question was, uh, one of my favorite TV programs is the HBO show Veep. In the, sh in the show, uh, Julia Louis-Dreyfus's character uh, gets put in a lot of ridiculous and embarrassing situations by her campaign staff. I was wondering if you could tell us a time that you felt ridiculous or embarrassed on the cam campaign trail. I know. When I got there, I asked the original question that I had submitted, which was 51% of people between the ages of 18 and 29 no longer support the system of capitalism, according to a Harvard survey last year. The Democrats are being criticized by young people for not responding to our voices. So what can Democrats do as far as economic policy to move farther left to bring those young people back into the fold? And uh, I didn't really get an answer in response to that. Uh, the answer was more along the lines of capitalism is good. What answer were you hoping for from Nancy Pelosi? Uh, well, I wasn't expecting anything, you know, radical. I told her, you know, not expecting something radical. But I was hoping, you know, at least a statement about supporting a universal $15 wage or an even more livable wage than $15. I think that's a pretty moderate request. What response have you gotten since you asked her that question? <laughs> well, it blew up a lot bigger than I thought it would. I didn't know that many people were interested in what Nancy Pelosi had to say. I've gotten reached out to by huge media organizations that I never expected would take interest in me. I was invited to join the DSA and I was very excited to say yes. And uh, yeah, just a much bigger response than I was expecting. It's very exciting, very stressful. Why did you feel like it was important to join DSA specifically? Well, uh, after the election, I sort of turned off all my political you know, Facebook feed and everything. I unfollowed every political thing I could think of. I just needed some uh, you know, cleansing for a while before I got back into it. So I was already looking for organizations to join once I was ready to jump back in. I think it's a great starting point to get active on the streets, get active with you know meetings for the community, uh, get people involved, get people educated on leftist theory. It's just a great opportunity and I'm super excited.